Hello Scorpios, welcome to your weekend reading for Friday. So let's go into your reading and see what's happening for you Scorpios. Alright, so let's warm up these cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Okay, so don't forget to click the like button if this resonates for you, for me to... Bring you more content onto Scorpio, exclusive for Scorpios only. So we'll just wait for that card to come that's going to show for Scorpios only. Happy birthday. If it's your birthday today, Scorpio, sending you love and light and a thousand wishes. So let's see for Scorpio. If you have not taken a look at my other uh, videos, please do so. Okay, let's look at that. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put that there. But this just came out in a pot. Heavy energy here, Scorpio. So let's see for your energy. Tell me what is what's on Scorpio's mind. What is Scorpio thinking? For Scorpio's energy, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. You might be feeling a little intense right now, Scorpios, with lots of headaches. Sometimes when we're in our own season, we get more of the um, elements uh, or elements of um, like headaches, intensity, neck aches, stress. So now let's see what's going on with you here. Okay, I don't know why it's taking so long with the cards. <laughs> So let's see, I'm just, okay. ooh, that double card had to show up, didn't it? Could be dealing with a Capricorn, not necessarily. Your energy's here. Yeah, your energy is, hasn't changed that much, Scorpio. I'm going to turn these cards around, let's see. One more, please. Okay, just to kind of give you an overview here, uh, the bottom of the deck, there's some unhappy thoughts here going on. So we're going to see what that's all about. Um, Scorpio, you had the Queen of Wands here. You had the Queen of Wands. Um, you had the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, okay, Scorpio, this is kind of... Okay, so let's get into a Scorpio. Queen of Wands, um, King of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles. There's an energy here where you are just, I don't want to say the word hate, but there is a very, very strong energy where, you know, this person has just took you out of yourself to become somebody different and i feel like you're losing yourself in the way of your personality um they're causing you grief they're causing you a lot of drama a lot of problems and you the only thing you wanted was is peace and you had to be this queen of wands energy and you had to come into this queen of wands as like you know, how dare you come near me? Uh, you did all this to me, and now you want to, like, this person did change you. I don't see this person in energy, but I feel like it's more about you. You were doing good for yourself, but they took from you, your kindness, everything about you. And now you're very strong in that first card, a queen of wands. You're very strong in your energy that left you unhappy here, left you in a way of you thought you were going to be married or you're going to have a long-term relationship with this person and you may have but at the same time this person has really done some kind of um emotional turmoil on you so in your energy here you recognize a lot of things you recognize that you don't need you don't need this in your life, Scorpio, is what I'm seeing. You you really love this person. I see this with the lover's card. But 
this was person was manipulating you in a devil card and the magician. They were manipulating you. There was not really any commitment. I think you're starting to know this, that you're recognizing this. Because the things that you were seeing was not true. They were all false. It was like putting your mind into something else to try to manipulate you to believe you were getting this. But in reality, you were getting the devil, the toxic person that may have um, did a lot of things for you. But you didn't see the behind the scene of the magician here in reverse. They weren't committed to you, but they were saying they were your soulmate. You were going to be together forever and whatnot. But this person has mentally drained you emotionally. So it has left you to an unhappy place here. All right. Of course, it's going to be intense for Scorpio. Let's see what else. What is your person's thinking for Scorpio's person? I'm going to clarify all this, but right now you're in a heavy energy. Hmm. Scorpio's person, angel guides and spirits. What is the person's thoughts towards Scorpio? What is their person's thoughts? Scorpio. I just feel like you're very. It's like you're just sad, but at the same time you're angry. You're. You, it's very disappointing. I'm checking your person's energy, what they're thinking right now. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. So you can kind of see where I'm at. <laughs> this person's not, um, they're taking their sweet time to talking to you. They know that you have this energy, you're just angry. I feel like Scorpio, I don't know. And that's the part of the Queen of Pentacles up there in reverse. I feel like they have made you so. I don't even know how to explain that that they they have made you su such a different person. You were happy and enjoying your life, and this person came along and told you what you wanted to hear. Mm. Okay, their energy, Scorpio. They have here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands in Reverse, and the Four of Swords. So with that energy right there, they're taking a time out break from you. They're not talking to you. They know they, they need to offer you a lot here. They, they do know that you deserve a lot, and you deserve the best. But they're not talking to you. They're very slow in their communication, or probably none at all. They're taking a time break because they feel the anger toward towards them, and they feel that maybe you have been lashing out. Maybe you try to be nice. I mean, you're you got mixed emotions all over the place. For that devil card being there, it, it's like you're you're not in control right now because they have hurt you. And but in their energy, they're just waiting and to make this relationship work again to come back to you because it's, they see it as could be successful but at the same time i feel like this person is very they do want to talk to you and they are watching some parts of your social media or watching their phone looking at pictures or text messages but they haven't let you go here they think you know they got to wait for you to Get your thinking together. They know you are super mad or super hurt, super angry at them. Because they know you. they manipulated you. And this is somebody you really trusted too because the Ten of Cups and the Magician. Um, But in their head right now, they're not letting you go. They're not wanting to argue, fight. They're not trying to...
contact you. They're not talking love. They're giving you the bare minimum, if any. They're just waiting. What are they? I don't understand why, why are they waiting. They're, they think. You know, there's Page of Pentacles. Um, they just have this row where that they, they're they're mad at you too for something that possibly you didn't do, but I think you have gotten on their nerves for some reason. Um, here they're just. They're just doing their own thing. They're waiting, but they don't want to have nothing to do with you right now. With the King of Cups in reverse, but the Knight of Cups here, yeah, they're not they're not offering off that love yet. But they want to. <laughs> don't get me wrong. They want to. They know this is this is not a good timing. It's like they feel like <sighs> you just don't like them. You're you're not as mood to deal with them anymore. They 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 feel that you hate their guts. I mean, I don't ha I don't like to say that word, but that's what they're feeling. But they know you 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 really cared about them with the lovers card here. But this this is poisonous, very toxic. Look at that. There's a king of wands on top of that queen of wands. They're mirroring you. They think there's this this mindset where they can just come back to your life when they feel like it. So they're hanging low right now with a hermit in reverse. But they know you're the empress, you're the best. Look at that. Yeah. They're you're the best that they're gonna find. And they're gonna try to move toward you and make this right with you as the justice card. They're gonna try to move toward you. Hmm. I just want to get another card on their thinking. Now, Scorpio, I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but this person's really like, I don't know. I feel like this person's got a lot of issues that you can't fix, that you can't support. Yeah, they're coming back. Well, they coming back here. They feel like you lost hope, and it's kind of like that feeling like the moment you start... It's not similar to the video. I'm not going to say it's like the same video I did yesterday. Uh, the moment you walked away, then they won't come back. But they see that they feel like there's no hope to do this. But they're going to do it anyway. Just because they feel like they can. There's the Knight of Wands. Look at that. They're just going to bring stress to your life. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. These people. Who is this person, Scorpio? Get rid of this fool. Please get rid of this fool. Because they're going to come back. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. And they're going to tell you they're never going to leave you again. But with that devil card up there and that energy, you're always going to have doubts about this person. Because the moment you upset them, they're going to take off. Yeah. So, in this energy here, I would tell you, you need to just be careful how you take this person back they would have to earn your way because if they left one or time or two times or three times you know they might take three months six months then they come make us full circle again to do the same thing again here and then show stress and i don't know i don't think this person's worth it you decide that on your own as it's just a general reading it's not for every scorpio not for every uh, personal reading out there it, it may identify with you or resonate with you and if you'd like a personal reading please look in the description box and i'll be i do readings on weekends and some of you have already started emailing me and i will get back to you um probably tomorrow on friday evening and set up a time with you and go from there on saturday and sunday but i don't see this person they feel like you're stressed out right now, and you have a lot of bad and they can't talk to you. And they don't want to say anything, they don't want to do anything, but they do want to come back. And they feel like, but this person, you also have put a lot of things in their head. They could possibly change a little bit to the point where they could feel like they can get back in your life. But they don't, they just, this is very toxic, Scorpio. I don't even know how to explain this. Like, they made you unhappy. They took a lot of your energy. 
your time for what for this to for the lover's card that it was toxic and now that you i think you're realizing a lot of things when the longer this person's gone you're starting to see things and understand things better but it still hurts you and it still upsets you and the moment you're okay and they say hello to you with a text it's like the anger comes back this is why I said you should block them don't have nothing to do with this person but you know we always have hope right it's lost hope Mm hmm sorry Scorpio if it is your birthday and I put a downer on your birthday I'm so sorry so um but that's what I see here they want you back but uh, you might want to have to take a lot of thinking before to take this back because this is yuck okay yeah so that's even takes my breath so anyway Scorpio if you like a personal reading reach out to me if you'd like to donate to my channel to help me buy more cars, more equipment, and things like that, I probably have going to need a new computer soon. But, um, yes, look at the thanks button. If you'd like to send me a donation, you can send it through thanks, right up near my title, or through PayPal. Um, but please make sure, before you send money for reading, please make sure contact me first. Let me talk to you first, okay? So anyway, Scorpio, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for all the donations, everybody out there. Um, it's very beautiful you did that. And I try to say thank you under your name. But if I have to miss you for any reason, you know, I'm deeply appreciated. Okay. So Scorpio, I'll see you on the next reading tomorrow night. All right. Have a great night. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.